It is so wonderful to be here today. Um, hugely honored to be asked. Designed to inspire. When I was asked to come do this, I had a whole thing planned, because you know, Seneca alumnus. Went to King City and knew them and learned how to shoot my guns in law enforcement, and I had this dream being a police officer, an RCMP police officer. Because you know, we have to take it all the way to the top. Being raised in the Jane and Finch area. Anybody familiar with Jane and Finch in here? Anybody? Yeah? Okay. I took law so I could learn my rights and responsibilities. A lot of my friends were getting in trouble. So I figure at least if I, uh, for those who weren't actually breaking the law but getting profiled, maybe, maybe their girl could help them out a little bit. So I took that criminal code and made that into my Bible, inside and out. When I finished my course, I was like, hmm, this music thing was knocking at my soul. I've been singing since I was six years old. And I was like, am I going to sing people their rights? Like, you have the right to remain silent. I just wouldn't, didn't think that would work. Or maybe, maybe. But music kept tugging at me and tugging at me and tugging at me and I realized that it's very important to do, to create your career especially, to create something that you are ready to do forever, that you enjoy doing it even for no money. And when you can commit to that process, you start to design the life that will inspire other people. And along my journey, I was able to meet Mr. Andrew Thompson on guitar, please give him a round of applause. <laughs> Fast forward many, many years, I was also able to meet and form a company with my producer who's here from Atlanta, Georgia, Mr. Young Pete Alexander on the call. <laughs> so like I said, I had this whole thing planned. I woke up two mornings ago with no voice. Could you imagine? That's like Michael Jordan waking up without a jump shot. Tiger Woods, you know, maybe his wife had the golf club and he just couldn't get it back from her. <laughs> I went to, um, I rushed quickly to St. Mike's Hospital. And I saw a wonderful doctor named Dr. Anderson who told me, Julie, you have 10 minutes per hour to speak and sing. I said, how long is my TED talk? I said, oh, about 15 minutes. She said, if you are disciplined enough for the next 48 hours to stay quiet, you'll be okay. And I love my fans, and I love you all for being here. So I hope this inspires you.
to inspire when they uh, they told me that the topic of the talk I really wondered like hmm am I inspiring to design or am I designing to inspire I realized that with my own life my own personal journey the inspiration started from surrender just surrendering to the process and focusing on who I was becoming rather than what I am you guys know me as Julie Black, the singer. You know, we have these titles. You know, John, the doctor. Or I am a police officer named. And, you know, I think it's very important for us to go back to the who. Go back to the foundation. And, you know, allow yourself to become that blueprint, that billboard. I realize that we are all walking billboards. How do you want to be perceived? How do you want to be remembered? If you were the architect or the author of your own eulogy, what would it say? Take a moment to think about that. And I want you to really not let anybody, anything, any circumstance stop you. There's a lot of glass ceilings to break through. And my own personal glass ceiling came being a Canadian singer and songwriter, making R&B music, being a trailblazer that wasn't asked for that title, but just staying true to the music that I love, staying true to my country, staying true to my fans, knowing that one day, this day, you all helped me break through my glass. <laughs> Thank you. 
people in here today, out there in the world of the internet, has ever been stuck? Have you ever had a glass ceiling that you just needed to break through? Do you have a glass ceiling that you need to break through? Do you have a glass ceiling that you need to break through? Do you have a glass ceiling that you need to break through? It goes like this. I love you.